Hello guys, welcome back. So this is video six, web server installation. So we'll learn how to install a web server, install Ubuntu server in our case, and have some fun. So let's get into it, shall we? So let's go ahead and open up our VirtualBox manager. And we only have our two servers and our, um, our one server and our one sensor at the moment. So let's go ahead and create a new server. Let's say new. I want to name it web server. That should be fine for me. And the type is going to be Linux and Ubuntu 64 bit. So just select that. You should be good. Go ahead and hit next. I want to go ahead and give it two processes and I'll give it a little more RAM. I'll give it four gigs just because I have it. If you don't have it, you can leave it at one gig or two gigs. I just like to give you know the servers a little more resources so it has some space to breathe. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit next here. My disk, I wanna make that 15 gigs. That should be totally fine for me. And I wanna go ahead and then do it a fixed disk. That should be good. So let's go ahead and hit next and finished. Once this is finished, it should start creating the disk and then we can start installing our server. So let's give this a moment. Let's go ahead and browse out. I'll show you where I have my server. If you see here, I have it right here. So we're gonna be installing Ubuntu 22.04.2. Uh, this is the server that we're gonna be installing. And we downloaded this in the beginning of the course. So make sure you have this available uh, in a few minutes. So if you haven't downloaded, just go out to Google and just put Ubuntu server, download, and make sure you get the latest and greatest version. The time of this video, 22.04.2 20, uh, .2 was the latest and greatest. So yeah, we should be good, okay? So now this is the web server. I always like to go to settings before I start it up just to make sure everything is, everything is good. So here we have, I don't need a floppy disk. Uh, let's go ahead and just, just because there's no floppy in our in our machine. So the display, it doesn't really matter because there's no real display here. You can put it up to 128, that should be fine, but there's no GUI. Um, monitors, I have multiple monitors, but you can go ahead and click on two monitors and you can click on all monitors, etc. But yeah, I, want, I can leave it on that, that's fine. Just in case I wanna tinker with it later. So audio network, we'll fix this later when we get into the configuration. This is just the installation of the server. So let's go ahead and hit okay here and let's double click on it and boot it up. And it should ask us to browse out to the ISO in a moment once it actually shows up. So we'll give this a moment and here we go. We'll give this a moment. So you should get the little box like this and we can go ahead and click on browse or other, and then we can select our Ubuntu server and click on open and mount and retry, and we should be golden here. So we'll give that a moment, here we go. Let's capture it, and it's good. So we're gonna go ahead and try and install Ubuntu server, and we'll let it go through its fancy things. And we can go ahead and exit out of here, and we'll let that cook for a moment. It's pretty much very, very similar to every single, you know, Linux distro that you probably install. If you installed Kali Linux before or any kind of Linux distro, even the OSSIM sensor in the server, it's pretty much identical as you're going to see shortly. Here we go. So I'm English, as you can tell, that's my language. The, this is for the keyboard layout. English, English is fine. Go ahead and hit done. So. We're going to do uh, Ubuntu server by default that, you know, installs the containers, blah, blah, blah. So you can go ahead and do the minimum, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this option. Okay. So the network connections, we're going to worry about this after, but what you should have here is probably 10.0.2.15 because that's the default NAT configuration in VirtualBox. So you can just leave that as is, and then we'll make that change later. Okay. Hit okay, done. And proxy server, just hit done. We don't need a proxy. And the mirror address, leave that as default as us.archive.ubuntu.com slash Ubuntu. Okay. So here we have 
the disk. So we want to configure the storage. I want to use my entire disk, which is the 15 gigs that we allocated to it. That should be fine. For the real world, if this is a VM that, or if, if this is your real machine, I would recommend you encrypting everything just to make sure everything is good and secure. But for a lab, we should be golden. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit done here. I just hit the down arrows and we should be good. This is everything here. This is a summary of the system. Obviously the VBox hard drive, the you know everything that's the mounted, the drive, etc. So we're good here. Go ahead and hit done. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, I do. It's going to whack everything, so it's going to erase everything. So now I want to put my name. My name is Patrick. I usually go by InfoSec Pat, but I want to actually just put Patrick. And uh, web server. And my username, I'm going to put it as Patrick. And my password. Okay. And then go ahead and go to done. And we should be good here. So we can upgrade to Ubuntu Pro. I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. I wanna go ahead and just skip it, okay? Yes, I wanna have a SSH server, so I wanna go ahead and hit the spacebar, um, but I'm not gonna import a SSH identity, a key. So we're gonna go ahead and just hit done here. That should be totally fine, okay? And these are the server snaps. So if you wanna go ahead and install anything like Docker, you know, PowerShell, etc. you can go ahead and do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit, go all the way down to done, and we should be good to go. So now it's gonna go ahead and install the system. Once this system is done installing, we'll reboot, and then we'll continue on to the next video. So let's give this a moment to finish up and check it out. All right, so the installation is complete. So right now it says we can cancel, update, and reboot. But I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. I wanna wait till everything is pretty much done installing, and then it should say reboot. So I'm not gonna cancel it at the moment. So we'll just let this cook, and we'll give this another few moments, okay? Okay, as you can see, it is complete, and now it gives us the option to reboot now. So we should be golden. So let's go ahead and hit enter here, and let this bad boy reboot. And then where it says, please remove the media, you can go ahead, uh, you can hit enter and it'll reboot. And we can manually remove it. You can come up to devices, optical drive, and then it, there's nothing in there. So if it is there, you can go ahead and just remove it from the optical drive because that's the ISO image that we mounted. All right, so let this reboot and we'll log in with our username, in my case, oops. I guess we'll give this a few more moments. Still not done. Okay, I think I messed that up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and put, whoops, I spelled my name wrong. All right, let's try this one more time. Patrick, and then here we go. All right, so now we are logged in. So we can see you name, you name dash all. And you can see that we're running Ubuntu uh, web, Linux web server. So now we have the server installed. The next video, we'll go ahead and configure it. So let's go, give me one second. All right, so now we'll stop here. And then the next video, we'll go ahead and configure the server, the IP addresses, make sure everything is communicating and doing all that good stuff. Thank you.